I played a lot of demos in the Steam Demo Fest last week and I wanted to share my thoughts with you. Let's start. Grime. A cool Israeli action platformer with Souls-like vibes. It's a bit muted and weird, but it has potential. The demo was too overloaded with question marks, the gear, the abilities, for my taste, but I'm looking forward to what it can be. Trigon. This is a game made by a team that really liked FTL. Then they waited for FTL 2, but FTL 2 didn't come. So they decided to make the spiritual successor themselves. So if you liked FTL, you're going to find more to like here. Except pixel graphics. This is high quality, 3D, and beautiful effects. There's still more to add and expand on the demo, but this is going to be great. Death Trash. This is an isometric, pixelized, open-world action RPG in a post-apocalyptic wasteland full of death, trash, and meat. It's an interesting world with a lot of options and a cool combat system. There's a lot of potential here and I can't wait to see it realized. Sable. Looks very very cool from the onset with very stylistic tune shaded graphics, 3D puzzle platforming and a weird different world with hover bikes and floating. However, this one broke me quickly as there was no key rebinding and the camera control over the low poly environment made me sick. Project Haven. An interesting new take on 3D tactical combat a la old school XCOM, only this time it's cyberpunk style though not quite Shadowrun. You also get a lot of freedom in how you do things and there are a lot more options. I especially like that if you want to shoot, you have to aim yourself. Still, I was a bit sad at some control limitations and no ability to undo bad moves. Lake. This starts off weird with a software executive in the late 80s taking a break from her high paying job to sub for her mail delivering father. Then you drive around a quaint lake town delivering packages and talking to people. I played two hours and didn't really get it, though there are some cool references in the video store, so I quit. Whatever is going on there, this needs better onboarding. Terra Nil. I played Terra Nil in its prototype version on itch.io and it was great, if a bit basic. This new demo is just wonderful. It's pretty, interesting, presents cool challenges, and it's all very wholesome and environmentally friendly. It's just chill and nice and great. Can't wait to play the full game. They always run. At its base, this is a 2D action platformer, but you play a bounty hunter with a third arm attached to their back. The story is cool, the world is interesting, and it just oozes style. It also didn't have key rebindings in the demo, which I hope they'll fix because I really want to play it. Terraformers. This is a digital board game about colonizing and terraforming Mars. This demo, this little piece of a game, was so polished and varied, with so many things to explore and yet so quick to get a full experience, I ended up playing it through three times. If it had a tactical layer, not just civilization building, it would be a worthy successor to Alpha Centauri in my book. I loved it. Reshaping Mars. This wasn't a demo, but a broken alpha version that barely qualified as playable. There is no onboarding, no explanations, no direction, and everything about it looks about as unwelcoming as it can be. I played it less than 20 minutes before I decided it's not worth it. The Darkest Tales It starts off looking good, very well polished graphically, a cute little action platformer, fully voiced, acted, with some cute tidbits of world building. But the platforming is banal, combat is buggy and unresponsive, and both of the main characters are incredibly unlikable, to the point I just didn't want to listen to them anymore. Mars Tactical Base Defense From the demo, I gather this is a simple base defense resource management game, and it's quite polished graphically and mechanically. But the lack of properly defined theme and the story, as well as the separation into levels, kind of turned me off it. Might be nice, just not my thing. Lens Garden it starts off as a neat island survival game like Valheim or Raft, or the thousands of mobile games out there, but the demo, despite the nice consideration of streamers, is just bare of any interesting purpose and no onboarding whatsoever. I walked around the cute island for a couple of minutes, clicked anything that seemed clickable, and then quit. Unsighted. This is a new game from Humble Publishing, and they sure know how to pick them. It's a pixelized, isometric action game with Metroidvania vibes in a strange world. It's got some cool action, upgrade elements, and a dog companion. The last reason alone is enough to like it. But it's also well made, so pay attention. Thank you for watching me rant on about demos. I hope I picked your interest in at least a few occasions. What did you play during the demo fest? Did you like something? Do you have any recommendations? Do you have something I should stay away from? Leave your answer in the comments below, I'll read every one of them. Thank you for watching, see you next time, stay good, have fun.